as the United States unemployment rate continues to rise. I know that there are many of you that are anxiously waiting for Congress to send out a fourth stimulus check. Well, good friends, I have some news for you. President Biden is thinking about taking executive action on the Build Back Better bill. Remember friends that I'm here every day to help everyone in this community, including all seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries to stay up to date on all of the breaking news in Congress. I'm also 100% committed to being your daily advocate. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and also with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news information. Also, in a video later today, I will be announcing the winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway. And I want to thank uh, your soon-to-be new full-blown, full-bore iron worker. I, Marty's already trying to get her to Boston, but that's another thing i got to warn you about. But folks, look, it's an honor to be here with Vice President Harris and with Labor Secretary Marty Walsh, a proud member and former president of Labor's local union, 223, up in Boston. And our Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, has got a few things we're going to build. And, uh, and, and I want to thank the Maryland delegation, Ben Cardin, who's been a friend for a long time, and Chris Van Hollen, who's a really close friend and outstanding congressman, Anthony Brown, and other elected officials that are here. Look, all of whom fight for working people in Maryland and every, and every other state, because if it happens here, it happens around the world, it happens around the country. It's been an honor to be with the iron workers of Local 5, and we talk about, we talk about building a future that's made in America. We're talking about you. And this time we're going to get it really correct. You know, one of the press persons said to me, and I can't remember who, about uh, three months ago, that I don't know if it's factual or not, but he said, you've used the word union as president more than any other president in American history. President, and I am because you're the best. Now, we talk about whether, you know, Wall Street built America. They're good folks in Wall Street. They're not, not bad folks. They're good people all over the country. I'll tell you who built America, the middle class. And the people who built the middle class are organized labor, unions, <laughs> unions, unions. Did. That's not hyperbole. That's a fact. That's a straight fact. Alrighty, friends, the Labor Department just released its latest weekly jobless claims report. So the good news, friends, is that unemployment claims did take a dip lower in the latest weekly data. However, the latest unemployment report underscores still the high demand for workers, even as crisis-related disruptions continue to put pressure on the labor market. First-time unemployment claims fell for a back-to-back -back week after rising to the highest level since October of 2021, coming in at nearly 300,000. The spike in claims followed a surge in the crisis across our country between December and January, which made many businesses temporarily close down. But friends, remember, it's important to note that the recent tallies of weekly jobless claims remain very high compared to pre-crisis levels. Also, according to the Century Foundation, millions of Americans are still struggling, all due to this crisis. Analysts have reported that about 3.8 million unemployed individuals have been unable to claim unemployment benefits because they have already exhausted their state or federal crisis era jobless insurance. The jobless claims data also does not meaningfully capture the labor supply shortages that have emerged as a bigger weight to the labor market during this stage of the crisis recovery. As of December, U.S. job openings had risen to nearly 11 million, nearing the all-time high reached back in July 2021 and marking a seventh straight month that vacancies held above the 10 million mark. This has caused increasing competition for employers trying to bring on and retain enough labor to meet demand. So friends, what are your thoughts on the jobless claims report, do you think that the United States is recovering from this crisis? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now friends, I know many of you are still wondering 
What exactly is going on with Congress's fourth stimulus package? Well, Democrats and Republicans are already discussing another round of economic aid as this crisis continues to affect our country. Senators Cardin and Wicker are reportedly working with the Democratic and Republican Party to gather support for the proposal on a fourth stimulus package. And so far, the proposal would draw money in part from previous packages that had unused cash when they had wrapped up. An early version of the legislation appears it would provide eligible Americans and businesses with more financial relief. That also includes restaurants, performance venues, gyms, and minor league sports teams. According to the Washington Post, the discussions in the Senate are reportedly being led by Democrat Ben Cardin of Maryland and Republican Roger Wicker of Mississippi. GOP Senator Susan Collins, as well as Democrats Mark Warner and Maria Cantwell are also involved. According to the Washington Post, Cardin and Wicker put together a $68 billion proposal, which includes new spending as well as plans to repurpose unspent funds from other stimulus packages. The bill is likely to include a mix of new spending dollars and repurpose unused cash from previous relief measures. This comes days after two House Democrats and one Republican wrote a letter to congressional leadership urging them to pass a targeted relief package with funds for Americans, small businesses in the fitness industry, live events, and travel industries. So friends, do you think that a Ford stimulus package should be passed? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is Blue Jay. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please do click and like my videos. Comment below this keyword and also other keywords from any video that you watch. And please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. When asked about the negotiations, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, We did a major relief package that included helping restaurants last year. We are in constant discussions with Congress and leadership about the needs of the American people whether they are small businesses or restaurants or people sitting in their homes as we continue to fight the crisis. Well, good friends, you've come to the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate every single one of you who are watching my videos on a daily basis. Please share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much and have a very, very blessed Friday.